Good morning world from the city of Manila, Makati. Lots of building going on here in the big city. Beautiful in the big city actually. It's very different from the you island know, we live on, isn't it? Do you know what my favourite thing about the big city is? What's that? The high buildings. Yes, they are beautiful, aren't they? Should we see them? Yeah. Tall, big, 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 big houses. <laughs> Amazing, aren't they? Yeah. We're in a tall building now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to go for a walk through the big city. Yeah, and do you want to see? The, look at that tube. I wonder what that's for. What tube are you looking at? That one. Well, that rusty yeah. tube. Yeah, that rusty tube. I think that small roof. It looks like some kind of air duct. Have some kind of restaurant there? Maybe it's an extraction fan? Something like that? Yeah. What do you think? It has been many years since I've been looking down the streets from a perspective like this. Sorry? I always look out the curtains. When you wake up in the morning? Yeah, I always look out them because it's a beautiful city. Yeah? Yeah. It is a beautiful city, isn't it? Yeah. Especially this part of the city. And it's massive. There's lots of stuff to do. I actually thought that we were going to England. Yeah. <laughs> So we normally live on Chargal Island and we've just come over to Manila for a week. So this is Story's first time experiencing the big city yes. and, and us as well, isn't it? We're actually walking this time to get our visas. Yes, we have to actually, walk. Actually, why, why are we getting our visas again? Because it's how we stay in the country for longer. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And do you remember when we went to the other visa place, they wouldn't give you a visa because of your passport? Yeah. Yeah, so now we've got your passport, we're going to go and get an extension today. Yes, because we're here, we got delivered. Yeah, we got delivered to the big city. And now Grandad's in the big city. Yes, Grandad has moved to Manila, hasn't he? It's, yeah, there's lots of fun things to do because it's massive. So if you saw yesterday's vlog, we surprised Grandad. And now we're going to go and see what the city looks like from the ground perspective. We're going to go for a walk. Yes, and we're going to get our food. We're going to eat in the visa. Then the a cafe. So we decided to book our stay like right in the thick of it here in Makati. Because even though we visited Manila seven years ago, we never saw this part of the city. So it's very interesting for us. Years ago, we did used to live in the city of Bangkok. So it will be interesting for us to compare how it feels from there to here. And also this location was only like five minutes walk from the Makati immigration. Shut out some of that street noise. So I'm not sure if you were able to hear me clearly with the music and the mask, but we just sorted out all of our immigration stuff for now. We ended up coming to one of the smaller shopping malls, which is where the immigration is located in Makati. Look at this city view, it's fantastic. Whee. Very nice. A good day to showcase it as well. Those puffy clouds. I've heard that city can be quite smoggy normally. So look at this. This is a nice, nice, colourful view. Beautiful. Okay, we're down at street level. We're going to go for a little wander. Take a right here, Sash. Let's see what's down here. Very tight pavements here. Squeezing between the lampposts. <laughs> Look at the electric lines. I know I've mentioned this before, but my dad always loved looking at these. Made him laugh. <laughs> So we're taking this walk so we can get a street view of what the city looks like from a different perspective. Not all of it is modern and beautiful, just like any city. Some of it's undeveloped and obviously it's a developing city. Still have their Jeep these and the owner type Jeeps driving around for transport. There's loads of them actually. I feel like the pavements are quite well maintained. Like when we were in Bangkok, there was a lot of bad sidewalks, you know huge chunks of concrete sticking up and you would have to do a bit of evading. So far so good. Are we going straight? Yeah, straight over to the corner I want to go to. Not too much traffic. This is one of those cities where if you're trying to cross a road, you just have to kind of go for it. Nobody will stop you at a pedestrian crossing, you just have to find a gap. Yep. Got the old Philippines and the new 
the Philippines. Hey, and this sitting on the streets. Got some peanuts here, roasted peanuts. Day. Yeah, good old piece of water, man. Always tie you over. Oh, street <laughs> food zone. Can you get through? It's a place to get your fruits. Even dragon fruits. It's cool. Alright, okay, I made it to the end of the street. It's a cute building here. It's actually a food court, Rebel's food court. I'm gonna buy some dragon fruit, a banana. Wow, it's been a while since you've had one of those, isn't it? I wonder what colour it is inside. Probably purple. I don't remember it's purple. Sometimes they're white then. It depends. Look at this. Uh, nice I really Just uh, get a bunch, right? We're going to be here for a week. Oh, this, Daddy. Mm, avocado. One of your favourites. And another one of your favourites. Bag right. of grapes. What about Story's got her loot. That dragon fruits on the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna take those home for us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sash, what's your opinion on how it smells here? <laughs> it smells like a city. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few uh, not so nice smells. It's weird. It's like you get the puff of drain, <laughs> and then you get a puff of smog, and then it's like fresh air for a bit. Yeah. And you, I think when you've lived out in nature for so long, you notice things more, so just get a bit of exhaust smell there. <laughs> Sometimes a bit of urine. Yeah. <laughs> Normal city smells. <laughs> I think sometimes it's important to make note of how things smell, because obviously when you watch a video, you're never going to know what's going on on the nose front. But for us, when we're looking at these videos back as a memory, we'll be able to kind of gauge how we felt at the time in more detail and for anybody coming here, they'll know what to expect. <laughs> Some people up there sitting on the edge of the deck. Yeah. Okay. Edge along there, don't you fall off. Oh, <laughs> you fell off. We're nearly home. What are you standing on right now, Story? Sewer. A sewer? <laughs> That's something you don't get on the island, is it? Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah. Everything's an experience for a child, eh? Yeah. Okay. So. Our place is right up there. I think we're on about here somewhere, our balcony from where I started the vlog this morning. We're still not done with the shopping. We're gonna go for a little bit more of a wonder. Waiting for a gap in the traffic. Story loves a 7-Eleven, so she's just gonna run into the shop to see if they've got any more ice cream. I'm gonna keep looking outside for a bit. 7-Eleven shop is finished already. Very convenient. Got a subway over here. Got all of the um, main chains. Got your Starbucks over there. Wendy's even. Very American. Yeah, oh, big city life, eh? There's a couple of nightclubs and bars around here. You can hear the music even from the 16th floor where we're staying. So this is the street where the music is coming from. And I don't know. How would you compare this to? Uh, our city life in Bangkok? Uh, well, in Bangkok, we live kind of out on the outskirts of the city. We never actually live directly bang, bang in the city, so it's very different. Yeah, this part is different. Yeah. But in the financial district of Bangkok, it was similar to this. Yeah. So I feel like I'm getting very, very similar vibes here. Yeah, very. It's almost identical in terms yeah. of how it feels. We just picked up some ice cream. <laughs> So we're gonna head back to our house before they melt. <laughs> back to the YT residence. One thing I've definitely noticed about city life is the amount of choice we have here. There's just actually too much choice. If we go onto Food Panda to make an order for something and we type in vegan burgers, there's like 590 restaurants come up. It's crazy. Sometimes it actually feels a bit overwhelming but I do think you would get used to that if you lived here long term. The roads aren't too busy, but you do have to watch yourself because nobody stops. All right, we're not gonna go yet. <laughs> go, 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 go. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Easy road. Okay, 
heading to the elevator now so we can get that nicely air conditioned in here feels good I have to say, walking around the city with a five-year-old is yeah. so stressful. I know. Really Especially when you're like carrying all the shopping. I know, I didn't have any hands free to hold her hand. She's trying to get away from me. <laughs> she doesn't know where she's going, but she just walks off in a direction. I know. And all the cars and the traffic, we're not used to it. It's true. So constantly. So we see the kids. How did you find walking around the city? Good. Yeah? Hot. Huh? Hot on my face. Hot on your face. Yeah. yeah. It was hot on my face, yeah. Me too. I felt that. Ready to go back to the room? Yeah. Thought so. Oh, finally. Back home. <laughs> it feels like longer. I don't know how long I've actually been out for. One thing I've noticed as well, there's like a constant humming noise when you're in the city. And push. Yeah, just the sound of air conditioners and laundromats and the building itself and I guess like Wi-Fi signals and everything there's like a constant sound everywhere and it's like not natural of course you're in a city now uh, I feel like it would take me a long time to adjust to that ah weather's a bit different than it was this morning let's have a look outside again I think so we might have some rain later okay so how is your reaction to McCarthy first time yeah being in a city for such a long time yeah did you live here I don't know initially I would say no but then you've got all the nice conveniences mm. right you can go even just into a really small mall and you've got everything that you want yeah. and then you've also got access to all the big malls and the loads of shops but then at the same time that all gets really overwhelming after a while so yeah. I think like maybe after two weeks <laughs> of living here and the novelty of having kind of everything on your doorstep wears off then I would be craving to be out in nature more and having the freedom and yeah so initially yeah. it's nice it's great for a city break and a weekend and to come and do some shopping and things like that but actually living I don't think I could do it. But we've, we've always <laughs> been nature lovers and obviously so a city would never yeah, fit that bill. Not for long term. I think it's great that we can go and find a little street vendor on the road who's yeah. got dragon fruits, you know, we would have to yeah. go that very was a nice far surprise. <laughs> yeah. to find that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I mean, what's amazing is like, you know, how close this is, like by plane, yeah, fair enough, but you can get to the city, have a city break, yeah. and then you can still go back to your island living and vice versa. If you're a city person, obviously the airport's right there. You can just shoot off to any of the islands in the Philippines. And I think that's why a lot of people would choose to stay here. You know, being so close to that international hub yeah. as well would make travel so much more convenient, yeah. which would be a pro for city life. Yeah. But so far, so good. Yeah. I actually think it's a lot cleaner than I expected. Yeah, I was gonna say, big, big pluses for Manila because like we've never actually been in this kind of central city location before it's great it's mm. amazing it's like really pretty buildings and there's some points where you get really great photo opportunities and yeah. things like that nice skyline yeah all the shops and the food pandas and grab and all that taxis on your doorstep it's great for a getaway definitely and this is just makati yeah <laughs> so we've also got bgc to see and like we're the uh, manila bay and there's yeah. plenty more for us to explore yeah. so we will continue gathering our opinion of city life and share that with you as we go <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.